We're just not good enough. We're not even close, honestly. For us to be on the receiving end of the disrespectful comments and antics is completely unfair to us. When we have certain guys in the mix that don't want to buy in all this one, it's going to be hard to do anything good as a basketball team. I love this city. I literally have done everything that I can. The situation is you know, something that uh, I don't think can be fixed. Oh my! Well, goddamn! <laughs> oh my god, ain't this some shit? I'm literally okay, guys. Let me paint the picture. I'm literally enjoying my time, right? Chilling by the pool, not even checking my phone, just taking a little break from Instagram, social media, just whatever, right? It's 12 o'clock at night. I'm about to go to In and Out. I check my phone. I see 300 comments. And then I see James Harden got traded. Now it's 12 o'clock at night. Everybody's asleep. So I didn't go on Instagram live. I was going to look and watch Scott Van Pelt and see who got traded. But I figured I might as well just save that for y'all. So I don't know shit. I just know that Harden got traded to the Nets. My initial reaction is fuck. <laughs> my, initial, my initial reaction is goddamn it. He would have went anywhere else. They would have been good. But they wouldn't have won. But now he's on the team that can actually beat the Lakers. So... I'm a little stressed out. I want to see who he got traded for because I don't know who the Nets gave up at all. I seen it was like a four team. Let me just figure out exactly what happened here and then we can, and then I can give you guys a little bit more. Okay, so the Nets get Harden, a second round, who gives a fuck? Rockets get Oladipo, Exum, four first round picks, and four first round pick swaps. Pacers get Levert. Damn, they gave up Levert. And we lost Jared Allen. Oh, no. So what is this four first-round picks and four first-round pick swaps? Does that mean they have eight first-rounders, or do they get to swap the four that they get? I'm a little confused on exactly what that means. Um, I know the Nets probably didn't want to give up Levert, but then when he got hurt, so they couldn't give up a hurt then when he don't. Nobody wanted that nigga, so they had to give up Levert. Which was tough. They gave up Jared Allen. They didn't give up much. I mean, they gave up a lot of picks. They gave up a lot of picks. But, like, other than the picks, that's not too bad. That's honestly not too bad. The Rockets got a hella first-round pick. Yeah, the Rockets are done. <laughs> it's looking spooky for you, Houston Rockets. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody, let me put my shirt, I ain't even put my, let's all say, let's all say a quick player, Lord, thank you for having us all alive and well today, um, the Houston Rockets fans, Houston in general, Travis Scott, the whole bunch, the whole gang, um, they're going through a lot right now, um, they might not ever be good again, um, certainly not within the next five years, um, maybe not within the next 20 um, I know that's a tough pill for them to swallow, uh, but give them the strength to be able to persevere. And <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Okay. So fuck. All right. So the Lakers side of me is like fuck because this is a this is a good ass team. This is a good ass team. Um. Who the Nets are gonna be tough, dude? The Nets are gonna be fucking tough. It's Nets versus Lakers at this point. It's almost 100% confirmed Nets versus Lakers. If the, this is what I said, and I'm going to say this again because I said this before James Harden got, tra got traded. There's two things that can happen here, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, there's two things that can happen. Either when James Harden joins the Rockets, I mean, when James Harden joins the Nets, the Nets are either going to be the best team in the league, you won't be able to beat them, it's going to be literally unfair, or, or... It's going to be ass because they literally have, they, they legit have three ball hogs. Kevin Durant is like a half a ball hog, but Kyrie and James Harden are full-fledged all Kobe ball hogs. Like, they are ball hogs. They're ball hogs. They don't want to pass. Neither one of them. Neither one of them wants to pass. <laughs> so, so, Lakers fans, it does suck that they got, it does suck that they got Harden. That's tough. That is tough, but I'm not 100% convinced that y'all are just gonna, I mean, I get it, y'all got a lot of talent, but you also have the, literally, literally the two biggest ball hogs in the league are on the same team. 
Kyrie and Harden are the two biggest balls in the league. It's not like they just, oh yeah, no, they're the two biggest balls in the league. Only D boys is a nice pickup. That's not bad. Dante Exum and whatever that other dude name is, they both suck. And given the age of the roster and what they gave up, Brooklyn's going to be really good for a little while and then probably not so good. Houston, considering the way their hands were tied, made off like bandits here. They got a haul. Nah, I think Brooklyn is going to be good for a while. I think that because they're so good now, it's going to make more people want to come there and they might be good forever, honestly. Like, I get what Max is saying. And players ain't going to stay forever. But, like, while they're there, they're going to be winning a lot and it's going to make more other good players want to come there. Ben Simmons would have come along with another player. Ben Simmons and another player, maybe like that kid Maxie out of Kentucky or somebody else, along with a draft pick or two, in the end, what it comes down to is that Ben Simmons doesn't shoot. He does everything else. He's special. And if I got a... Why is this nigga talking about Ben Simmons? <laughs> That's a good point. They can turn it, they can turn those picks into another good player. That's a good point. That's a good point. Without even listening to this, I already know that Skip Bayless is about to suck the nets off. I know he's about to do it. All these guys can go get your buckets. But Skip, I just don't see how it works without Kyrie and James Harden stepping on each other's toes. The re That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm telling you, there's a good, there's a very high chance that this doesn't work out. Mm. Kyrie and James Harden needs the ball, mm. and I just don't see it working. Mm. Somebody got to be the third scorer. I, I don't know who, and I don't know who that's going to be. <laughs> Y'all can let me know. Maybe I'll know better than but I don't know who the third scorer is meant to be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. Trying to come up with why this won't work because they're all scared to death, starting with the leader of the group. Wait, hold on. Let's make this very clear. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Y'all can come at y'all can come at us. You come at us full force. I'm not scared of shit, Skip. You think I'm scared? Wait, hold on. Y'all think us Lakers? You think we scared? Cause y'all got hard in the fucking scared. I'm not scared of shit. <laughs> y'all better if y'all niggas even make it. If y'all niggas can even make it to us, how about you make it to us first? The fuck I'm about scared? Who's scared, nigga? We have eight, nigga. We have the second best player in the world. We got the number one and the number two best players in the. What the fuck do we need to be scared for? I think from a Rockets standpoint, they should have did the Sixers. If I'm a Rockets fan, I would have rather done the Sixers trade. Even though Ben, even though you're not winning with Ben Simmons, I don't know what the fuck Stephen A. was going to say. Y'all not winning with Ben Simmons, right? It don't matter if y'all got Ben Simmons and, I don't know, Oladipo. Y'all still weren't, y'all could have both of them niggas and you still wasn't going to win. Like, let's be honest, you weren't going to win, right? But, I would have rather have had, I would, I think I would have rather seen a Sixers trade. If I was, if I'm a Houston Rockets fan, I think I rather would have seen a Houston trade. Been a Brooklyn trade. What, what did I learn from, from Arch Madness the other night? Had a career high 13 assists. So don't tell me he can't share the ball. Skip at had a career group right here, right now. Kevin Durant is still the best player on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to just, I can't listen anymore. <laughs> All right, all right, he's, I don't, I don't know what this nigga saw. Okay, all right, so. I kind of get where Stephen A's coming from. It might have been better if the Rockets would have did a trade with the Sixers than a trade with the, with, with, with the Nets. Yeah, that probably would have been a little bit better for your organization, Rockets. I'm not going to lie. It's not looking too good for the Rockets fans. Um, yeah, I mean, I pretty much said everything I needed to say. We listened to what they needed to say. I don't really, I don't really know what else there is to say. Um, like I said, Harden's going to cut the weight. He's going to look incredible. They're, all three of them are going to look incredible. They're going to win a lot of games. I don't know if they are 100% going to make the finals now. They should. But they got two of the, they got the two biggest ball hogs in the league on one team, bro. Like, there's literally no way around it. I mean, I love Kyrie. Kyrie's my boy. I mean, but he's a goddamn ball hog. He is. He's a fucking ball hog. 
And Harden's an even bigger ball hog. Harden's the biggest ball hog we've ever seen. He makes Kobe not look like a ball hog. Harden, which Harden is such a ball hog. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Isn't there like a, isn't there like a stat that like measures how much one person has the hand in their ball? I mean, has the ball in their hand? This, this team has got it. Like, how do they, like what? This, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what the team looks like. I don't know when Harden's going to play with the team. Um, they didn't have to give up that much, honestly. They gave up, I mean, they gave up picks. They gave up hella picks. But they, as far as players, Levert hurts. That's tough. But they still got Dimwitty. Whenever Dimwitty comes back, I don't know when he's expected to come back. But when he comes back, that's going to be tough. The Nets are going to be tough. They're going to be tough. I'm not ready to say 100%. You guys can leave in the comments what you think. I was not expecting this trade to happen last night. Um, this is crazy. Um, but I'm not ready to just, I'm not ready to just say that they're the best team in the, in the East. I mean, no, they are the best team in the East, but I'm not ready to say hundred percent that they're going to come out of the East. Don't get me wrong. I have the Nets coming out of the East. You see my prediction video. I have the Nets coming out of the East. So they should come out of the East, but I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent. So we'll have to see. We'll see as these games go on, as they play some, as they play some, some tough opponents, how they look. But this is some shit. This is some shit. Just when I was getting ready to like KD, just when I was getting ready to like KD, just when I was getting ready to fuck with KD, he went, he went to, he went to Golden State. He cheated his ass off. It pissed me off. I didn't fuck with it. He go team up with my nigga Kyrie. I'm ready to fuck with both of them. I'm finally like, yes, he's not gonna cheat. I'm a Nets fan. And then he does this shit. <laughs> so basically every... This is the final thing I'm going to say. So basically every ring that KD is going to get is going to be... Is is a cakewalk. Is he not... Is, does he not want to earn one ring? He couldn't... They couldn't have just did one year with Kyrie just to try. And then maybe I hard... You're just not going to... You're just never going to... You're just never going to actually try? You're just going to... You're just going to get carried? And, and, and like... You're just going to over... Just overpower to get every ring? Like... I don't even know how I feel about Kevin Durant after this. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about him. I don't know. Anyways, that's going to do it, man. You guys can leave all your comments below. I know a lot of you guys are like Nets and four, whatever. Cool. I get it. I get it. I get the hype. I get it. It's fine. Yeah, I get it. But I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. It's a great trade. But these niggas is ball hogs, so I don't know.